In this video, we're doing basic inverse trig integration, and this requires that you have your derivatives memorized for the inverse trig functions, because this is Jeopardy math and we're doing things backwards. So in example one, we should recognize that this is the answer to inverse sine. So our answer would be inverse sine of x plus c. In example two, this is almost inverse trig, but there's a 2. Well, we're allowed to push that 2 out in front anytime we want, so I'm going to move that 2 over. Now, I like to think of the dx, instead of being on the top, think of it on the back side so that you can see what you're doing better. This is now clearly the answer to inverse tangent. So we have 2 inverse tangent of x plus c. Don't forget your plus c. In example 3, uh, we have a negative 1 dx. So let's go ahead and call that inverse cotangent of x plus c. Some of you may be thinking that an alternate answer is negative inverse tangent of x plus c, and you would be correct. In example 4, uh, we have a 4 that's in our way, but we can go ahead and slip that outside. We get 4 integral 1 over absolute value of x root x squared minus 1. Again, I'm going to put the dx there. That's clearly the answer to inverse secant. So we have 4 inverse secant x plus c. In example 5, I'm going to go ahead and move the 3 out in front. I could move the negative 3 out in front, but I'm going to leave it alone. So I've got 3 integral negative 1 root 1 minus x squared dx. This would be 3 inverse cosine of x plus c. And yes, we could have an alternate answer. We could have brought that negative out in front, negative 3 inverse sine of x plus c. So again, there are lots of alternate answers. In our last example, uh, this is clearly inverse cosecant of x plus c.